Welcome back to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is the talk where we discuss the latest developments in game. We've got Wrecker's Kit. We have the developer insights on tech. We will be covering that information today. First up, the breakdown of Wrecker's Kit, the way that I like to do it on this channel. I like to pull out all the information that CG gives us and focus in on some keywords to really understand what's happening here. So basic, the cavalry is a targeted attack that synergizes with tech. If there is target lock on the character that is targeted, Wrecker will inflict speed down. If he's furious, he will attack again. And furious relates to his unique. We'll discuss that in a moment. The first special is I hate that word. Clone allies recover protection equal to 5% of Wrecker's max protection. Wrecker gains one stack of fury per stealth unit. That's both enemies and allies. Then he dispels stealth enemies. When he's furious, Bad Batch will recover 20% of his max protection and gain 10% turn meter per stealth unit, so both enemies and allies. The second special Wrecking Ball is an AoE attack, Wrecker taunts afterwards. Clone allies gain defense and tenacity up, and when Wrecker is furious, he will inflict an AoE stun. And now we have multiple characters who can perform a stun on the Bad Batch. Then his Unique, which has the Zeta Dauntless Commando. At the start of the battle, he is gaining 20% max health and protection per other Bad Batch ally. The keyword is other that will not be counting Wrecker, just Hunter, Tech, and the other guy I always forget the name of. Then Wrecker will be gaining one stack of Fury per clone and Bad Batch ally. And when he gets stealthed and both Tech and Hunter can give stealth, Wrecker will be dispelling and gaining taunt. When Wrecker is damaged, he gains one stack of Fury. At 10 stacks, he loses Fury, gains Furious, and taunts. And if I'm understanding this right, based on how things have worked in the past, that means at the start of the battle, with Wrecker, Tech, Hunter, and the other guy, plus another clone, you gain one stack of Fury per clone, per Bad Batch. So that means you're starting out with nine stacks of Fury. Meaning, within a turn or so, you are gaining Furious. So Wrecker is going to be doing a ton more very quickly in the, in the start of the battle. So that's one thing that I'm going to be looking at when we get to play around with him next week, make sure that that verbiage is what is going to be happening with his kit. And we're gonna hop over to CG's post and break things down a little bit more. So with the addition of Wrecker, the Bad Bats look like they are going to be a ton of fun. I'm surprised we're getting Wrecker right now because I thought we were gonna get the other guy first and we would be getting Wrecker on May the 4th because tanks are usually like the key component to making a lot of teams work, be survivable, and have some utility. So I thought we would be getting him later. But I'm happy to see him. I kind of wish we would have got all these guys before 3v3 ended. Because this, these Hunter, Tech, and Wrecker, they look like they're the 3v3 characters. All the interactions are already there within the kits. We'll talk about that stuff in a second. But what I'm really seeing here and I'm excited about is I think this is going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of complicated interactions that just require a lot of thinking through while you play. And I think they're going to be a pretty devastating light side Geos team. And I think Whale Guilds, they're going to have a lot of benefit from having these characters that other guilds are not going to be able to experience for a couple months. I stopped for a moment and looked up his name. It's Crosshair. So with Crosshair, I'm going to be looking to see if he synergizes with some of these existing debuffs or some of these existing buffs that we're already seeing in kits. So like with this basic here, the cavalry, we have the targeted attack. That Wrecker is now synergizing with tech with a target lock, but he's also inflicting speed down. So I want to see if Crosshair is going to be doing anything with target lock or speed down or some of the other buffs that we're seeing in Hunter's kit or Tech's kit. The first special, I hate that word, this is the protection recovery. Wrecker will also be gaining one stack of fury for each stealth character and then dispelling all 
enemies. So Wrecker will probably most likely want to be going after Hunter and Tech. Gain all that fury for all the clones and Bad Batch being stealth. And then he will be giving turn meter gain to all the Bad Batch allies so that they'll be able to take advantage of that dispel stealth right away. And then we have the second special here, Wrecking Ball. This gives us, when he's furious, another stun. He's going to be in Furious at this point because you're going to be using that other ability to start if he's not already in Furious. He will be doing the AoE attack here and gaining taunt when he does this ability. So this ability will give him the taunt, but he will also, off of his unique here, he has a conditional taunt that he will be getting, getting every time that he gains stealth. Now with the developer insights, there's always one or two nuggets in here that are worth reading through and extracting out of here. And that proves to be the case with text developer insight as well. Down here in the strategy and tips section, here at this final point, they specifically say tech is going to be good for Grand Arena and that the Bad Batch is going to be a solid team for defense specifically and that they can deny some banners. Last week I was speculating that I thought they were going to be more of an offensive only team. So I think that's interesting to see. And I'm starting to see it because one of the things that you, I don't think you really can do with these teams is it's not going to be a if this then that kind of approach to dealing with the Bad Batch. Because there's so many conditional elements that are occurring where you do one thing to them then another stealth occurs or another buff happens and they're able to take advantage and do some damage to your team or to your approach. And that is going to just make it a little trickier to deal with. Now the other point here, and right up above it, they specifically mention here target lock, and that target lock is going to have an interaction with other kits. That may just be Wrecker, because this post came out a day or two ago. So with Wrecker, again, that basic, He'll be inflicting speed down if he's using his basic on someone with target lock. They may be re referring to that, or they may be hinting at something even larger with crosshair, because we're not right now seeing how crosshair is going to be interacting with these existing kits, because like I said a moment ago, with Hunter's leadership, he was hinting at a lot of interactions with the Bad Batch, and Wrecker and Tech now address all of those hints. So there isn't anything that is specifically pointing at what Crosshair could be doing with these teams. So that's going to be an interesting thing to be paying attention to while we wait until May 4th now for what uh, Crosshair will be adding to this team. The last thing in here is they are specifically talking about C-3PO in translation. They're now going to add some verbiage to both C-3PO and Tech that is going to prevent putting both C-3PO and Tech on the field at the same time. If you do put them on the field at the same time, you don't receive the cooldown effect and you want that cooldown effect because these characters have big cooldowns, except actually this is something that we should go back to. Back in Wrecker's kit, his first special, I hate that word, that's only a cooldown of two. That is the lowest cooldown of the specials in all the kits that we have so far. I talked about last week about how with Tech and Hunter, we were having three and four turn cooldowns, which made that translation so important. And now that we have this two cooldown ability and it's the recovery ability that dispels the stealth, we now have this moment here where Wrecker can be doing this ability potentially often, dispelling, recovering health, and doing that turn meter gain. That becomes very interesting. And as we usually do, we wrap up with the free-to-play gearing of my roster. This week, though, not too much gearing because earlier in the week, we finally unlocked Jedi Master Luke, and most of my resources went to gearing him up to gear 12. That's where I had to stop, though. 
I don't have all the materials that I need to get the rest of the gear 12 pieces, nor do I have the inclination to use any more of my crystals than I already have used on getting him up to gear 13 right away. I've already been able to take him up back to the top 50 of my squad arena. I'm happy with that for now. And I want to see how, at what low, what's the lowish level that I need to be able to beat the final tiers of that event without having to go up to like tier uh, relic seven, like I've seen some people saying for those final, uh, those final tiers. I don't think that's necessary. I'm going to take them to that level anyway. But I, I just enjoy out of the fun of the game, seeing how low I can do things. Now. The other thing I'm going to be doing this week, but that I can't do until tomorrow morning, is when the current phase of the territory battle ends, I will be able to unlock Kiati Mundi and I will be gearing him up to, I don't know, gear 8 to start, and then we will see from there. He has a lot of Kairos that he wants, so I don't think I will be gearing him up too far right away and other than that i'm probably going to be leaving it there because both hunter and tech they are difficult gears they require a bunch of chiro techs and i don't want to be spending any chiro techs on these characters right now i'm not going to be able to farm them up for another couple months so until that point i'm going to be using my chiro techs on relicking other characters so i i will show that again i talked about this i think last week but these top characters here these are the characters i want to bring up to relics so that is what i'm looking to do next not so much gearing up the newer characters that i will be doing because i like to test i like to show you guys what i think so it'll be happening but just at a slower rate than i have previously done with like those uh, with Moff Gideon, with a lot of the Mandalorian characters, I took them up immediately. Probably not going to be the case with the Bad Batch. Thank you for watching. I am happy that Conquest is back, but I was also happy to have those two weeks off. But it's nice to have that come back into the game. Be safe out there, everyone, and be excellent to each other.